Welcome back, Harris. Hey, mi amigo. Primo Ramiro says you could use some help exploring the Mexican jungle. I would like to offer mis servicios. Very kind of you, Juan. Be right there. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 200 meters, turn left. Welcome to Horizon Wilds. Allow me to provide you with a little local knowledge. And of course, if I could have a Horizon driver to help me with the work for the university. Deal. When do we stop? Why not right now? We'll take the Land Rover Defender. I've programmed Anna, but don't worry. I know the jungle even better than Primo Rami. <sighs> Wait, is it that way? See, ¿dónde está? It's this way. Vámonos! Project Ekbalam. Notice the architecture. Rami said it was quite the experience last time you visited, no? <laughs> well, we were fleeing a tropical storm at the time. Turn right. Turn right. Recalculating route. Turn around when it is safe to do so. with the tourists. But first, they have to find it. Try not to wet the scientific equipment. Or the scientist.
Turn left. Highest bridge in the Americas. Eh, más rápido, por favor. I don't like heights. That's the pyramid of Uxmal. Rami told me leyendas about it when we were kids. Oh, is that the end of the tour? You're too fast, my friend. Data looks perfect. Great stuff. Thanks for the tour, Juan. Fue mi placer, my friend. Just do one thing for me. If Rami asks, tell him. I'm a much better guy than he is. Hey, mi amigo. Juan Garcia's here. Primo Rami heard about our adventure in the jungle. He set up a sorpresa for you. What kind of surprise? <laughs> well, if I tell you, then it won't be a sorpresa. Just get down here. It's a trailblazer. The university wants topographical data. I think Primo Rami just likes to watch you drive. Oh, and I annoy Prima Alejandra until she loaned me the Maverick. Okay, Juan. Get in and hang on. Destination set. Telemetry is being recorded. Now, vamos, vamos! I'm sick. Take any route you want, preferably without hitting a tree. Watch out! It looks like the weather is closing in. I'll tell Rami his trailblazer was very easy. Not even a challenge for you. We've got everything we need. I'll send the topographical data to Horizon Wilds. Happy to help, Juan. Hey, amigo. I've been talking to Primo Rami and the team at Horizon Wilds. I think the best way to settle this is with the race. Eh, uh, not quite. <laughs> Come down and meet me. Juan, what are you up to? You have arrived at your destination.
The trophy truck for you, and the 911 GT3 RS for me. We'll be racing each other. See, si. if I win, I can tell the whole familia that I beat a Horizon superstar. And if you win, well, we just won't tell anyone. I should mention, you all need to follow the dirt road and ignore Anna for this one. The university wants telemetry from different road surfaces, so I'll take the asphalt. Ignore Anna, take the dirt road, got it. But that was much closer than we thought it would be, no? Muchas gracias, my friend. I have the telemetry from both vehicles. I'll get it over to the university. Right after I compare my acceleration profile with Rami and Ale's last races. <laughs> I'll tell them they have competition. destination. my friend. Tell me, have you ever seen an active volcano up close? Meet me at the top of the mountain. You don't want to miss this. Whoa! What was that? That's nothing. Just a small tremor. The Aris 200 suspension can handle it, no problem. My friend, there is a lot of smoke coming out of this volcano. You might want to get up here pronto. Fast. Got it. On my way. Hey, Ramiro. The festival operations team are tracking some activity around the volcano. That wouldn't happen to be exactly where you're taking my superstar driver, would it? Está bien, Haley. This is really only a small eruption. Nothing to worry about. Fine. Just remember, we have an outpost to set up, yeah? Isn't this incredible? The volcano has never been like this before, but it's waking up for Horizon! When you reach the top, we should do our tests and then get out of here, my friend. The Baja is waiting and I think the volcano is getting angrier. Angelica Garcia coming to you live from the Horizon XS Chopper. That's right, we have a chopper. We're flying high over Mexico to see one superstar driver take on the fury of the Gran Caldera Volcano. Don't go anywhere. Looks like you're attracting the local news. 
You're on TV! It looks safe, but there's vapor everywhere! This expedition looks to be heading straight to the active crater of the volcano! This might be the most rock and roll thing ever! We'll be back soon! Remy! Did they say anything about steam vents? See! Believe it or not, they said opening them, say with a car, actually helps release the geothermal energy. Keep going, Superstar! Don't let the Gran Caldera defeat you! Horizon Excess is cheering you on! Coming up on the crater now, Remy! Copy that! Feel free to turn on the air conditioning. some time. In fact, there are some things she wants us to do up here. For science, you know? <laughs> For science! Yep! Should be enough water in the camp for a sample. Excuse me, pilot. Mind if we take a detour on the way? I swear I saw some kind of barn or something out there. Suited and booted. Come at me, science. Problem solving.
seismometer. You're getting the readings? Right, hey, Sibo. We should be heading down soon. I'd show you an active volcano up close. Now, I think the show's over. <laughs> yep, that's enough playing with fire for one day. Oh, that was a big one. I think the volcano is telling us we've overstayed our welcome. <laughs> Agreed. Let's go. I'll see you at the bottom, Remy. Good thing I know the fastest way down. Don't look back! I'm trying my best! racing, my friend. Vamos! I know an old Baja circuit that would be perfect. I didn't plan on us entering a race already, but here goes nothing. And we're into the final lap. Oh, what was this? Some new competitors come into the arena. Ah, this is awesome! <laughs> the crowd goes wild! Legendary Baja Racing, my friend! <laughs> oh, we've never seen anything like this! And they go! 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 Across the finish line! Horizon Baja, standing shoulder to shoulder with the Baja 500 and 1000. Legendary cross-country racing. My friend, those run once a year. We get to do this every day. <laughs> you know how to make an entry. Welcome to Horizon Baja. What do you think of the place? This will be the destination for cross-country racing. You in? Here's a new cross-country event program to start. So I will see you out there. on this one for a while. It's the showcase I've always wanted to do. See you there. Hey, Harris. Attendance has already skyrocketed at Horizon Baja. Guess we're not the only ones who always dreamed of coming here. Keep bringing them in, Superstar. You have arrived at your destination.
Okay, you versus some monster-sized trucks. This is going to be good. Damas 
y caballeros! ¡Ay, sí! ¡That monster is hungry! ¡Hungry for Dodan! ¡Oh, oh, oh! Horizon's biggest superstar! Everything is going to plan. They're filming for the new Vanguard Force movie, and the star Frankie Beaumont was asking around for you. I still don't think the two of you look anything alike, but Frankie really seems to need your help. You have arrived at your destination. Wow, it's like looking in a mirror. Right? I mean, the perfect stunt double is an identical twin. You said you wanted some driving lessons. Get in, let's go. So, there's a new movie, Vanguard Force 10. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the teasers, and I had fun driving stunts in the last one. Right. The director is insisting we do our own stunts this time round. So I need to get decent after the standard you set on the last one. Have to do your own stunts? Oof. Well, let's see what we can do. Ah. 
That's uh, the Stockholm slide. <laughs> We've already started filming. It's hopeless. I'll never impress Victor Garcia Hernandez as a driver or legitimate dramatic actor. Actually, I have an idea. Since, you know, there's a bit of resemblance here. What if we don't tell anyone and... And, hang on. You do the driving and I do the acting. I think we could pull that off. Got a stunt coming up. Set the costume on and pretend to be me. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Don't sweat the dialogue, mate. We'll get that later. You just focus on your driving. Okay, Mike. Will do. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. Mate, come see me after we cut. I'll get you some lozenges or something. Scene 15. Downhill escape stunt sequence. Action! <laughs> right on, Victor. And this is the very first shot of the movie, yeah? No intro, just straight in with the car chases. Well, you're the genius. Very good, Mike. I'm in the helicopter. I look forward to seeing what our driver... That was Mike Steele. He does the stud direction while Victor is the overall director. Seems like he bought it. in the aerial unit. Says he likes to have a god's eye view. Hang on, I'll put him on. We are the stuff that dreams are made of, my friends. Mexico is our canvas, the car our paintbrush, and Vanguard Force 10 would be our masterpiece. Andro, let's go! It. He did. We can make this work. Mike and his crew are ready for the next stunt. I snuck away to my trailer to call you. Victor thinks I'm <laughs> preparing. Right. 
Right. Keep it in the river along here, and upright if you can, Frankie. Scene 23. Mad Alex. Action! This is Alex's last chance. Without this vehicle, we would not be able to trigger the Dimension Portal. There will be explosions and many digital things. But the truth is in the vehicle, in the way you drive. Make me believe. The surface is rough through here, but push through it. Give it some. that kind of driving for years. <laughs> yes! And now through the resistance camp. Let nothing stand in your way. Wonderful, Frankie! That's amazing! You truly grasp the essence of the character. <laughs> Victor's notoriously difficult to please, but he loves your driving, Frankie. Ready for the next setup? C25! One flew over Cobalt's nest! Action! <laughs> now the supplies are delivered. Alex Cobalt must escape, not from aliens, but from a phantasmagoria of fears and doubts tracing all the way back through everything you have experienced. I don't know what a phantasmagoria is, but I've whacked a rally V8 in that thing, so give it the guts! <laughs> Barricades and ramps ahead! Keep your speed up! Did you learn to drive like that, Frankie? So, I have some ideas for some improvisation. We could do a scene along the beach, or around the airplane graveyard. I'm not sure which, so you choose. Along the beach? Yeah, I can think of some stunts. Turn. Victor has handed this one off to me. He's working on something new for the ending, and that has me worried. Anyways, 
Go for it, Frankie, and let's get this one! Improv scene! Beach rush! Action! We've got debris along the beach. Dodge that, and keep away from the houses. Otherwise, there's people who have to edit it all out digitally, frame by frame. Brilliant, kid! I mean, Frankie, sorry, don't know why I said kid there. I'll take this footage to Victor. Wait till he sees what his superstar, sorry, movie star can do. Right, you've got another stunt. Drop by when you have a moment. 400 meters, turn left. Still not talking, eh, Frankie? What a surprise. Let's get on with it. Improv scene! Search scene! Action! Yeah, so the search is part of the flashback in Act 3. The script is something. I have no idea how it's gonna work. Just throw the car around the bit or something? Huh? I haven't seen driving like that since... Well, anyways, slam the route and... Improvise... with your car? Stick to the runway, Tarmac! That's where we have the best camera coverage. 
Frankie, mate. You'll have to put me in touch with your driving instructor. I think Mike is onto us. Yeah. We'll have to dial it back a little. Should I tell Victor is really behind the wheel? Kidding, Frankie, I'm just kidding. the stunt. Drop by when you have a moment. Well, well, well. If it isn't the two masterminds caught in the act. Can't believe I didn't recognize your driving sooner, kid. Uh, uh Mike. Glad you're here. How do you like this, uh, this dummy the art department made? It's, um, it's very realistic. Save it, Frankie. This is a brilliant idea. But if you're going to keep Victor in the dark, he'll need my help. It's nice to be working with you again, Mike. You can talk. I never expected that. Uh, look, get in the car. We've got a big jump to do. Time travel volcano jump! Action! Uh, Mike, did you just say volcano jump? Come on now, kid. I saw the opening ceremony. Hammer it up the hill, kid. That stunt vehicle is a Mike Steel Special. Custom engine and suspension. <laughs> Mike! 
It's nice to have a real driver at the wheel. I heard that. Frankie? Brilliant! Well done! But we keep this between us, yeah? No need for Victor to know. Hey there, kid. We've got a new stunt set up. Drop by when you can. Frankie? No, no, don't talk. We have to protect that nice, bankable accent of yours. Get in the car. I'll explain the stunt as we go. Scene 68. Dr. Strange Guard. Action! Careful up ahead. Watch the turn. have a role in the movies I make. I was Pursuit Beast number two in the one we made in the UK. <laughs> the one that ran into the wall. I love that bit. Very funny, Captain Silent Protagonist. Now drive. Nicely done. It's good to be working with you again, Frankie. Oh, too close by half. Let's get this done. Kid, we have a small problem on Vanguard. Meet me and Frankie when you can. The director was asking why I'm not doing my lines in the stunt sequences. Don't worry about it, Frankie. I'll cover for you. Hey, kid. You ready for the next set? Sure. What's the stunt? Scene 95. Highway escape. Action! Talk me through this. What's my motivation? So, it's a race, basically. Gotta outrun the pursuit car. I can explain, Mike. And that is an excellent accent, Frankie. Uh, you have hidden depths. This is an escape, of course. The self-replicating control system is intent on stopping you. It has commandeered a pursuit vehicle. You must escape it. If it helps, imagine the pursuit vehicle has a number of hilarious lines of dialogue. Perhaps even emerging as the true star of this movie. Have you voice in it, Albert?
Well done. This is gonna look great. And there we go. That's done. Only one more stunt to do. I'll call you when we're set up. Hey, kid. Next scene set up. Meet me with the stunt unit. Right, this is the last shot we need to get. Should be easy. What could go wrong? Scene 107. Data upload stunt sequence. Action! <laughs> right, we've got other stunt drivers in traffic vehicles. Dodge and weave, and get to the destination as quick as you can. <laughs> This is where we bring the pieces together. Past, present, future, messages and themes come across the franchise coming together, but not resolved. Never resolved. <laughs> Don't worry about all that past, present theme stuff. Let's just get this done before he rumbles us. In 100 meters. Turn sharp left. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Destination now. Just get there. There we go. Cut and print it there. Stunt units are wrapped on Vanguard Force 10. It's up to Victor in the editing booth now. He's not the type of director to change his mind or ask for reshoots or anything like that. Right? Mike's going off the deep end. Something about product placement. Can you drop by? Easy, Frankie. I'm on my way. There's a new scene. Apparently, we need to take advantage of the presence of a major cultural event to root the story in the zeitgeist. Uh, zeit... what now? 
Get in the car, kid. I'll explain. Scene 103. Uh, something at the festival. Glory, kid! Straight through the festival! Hit the jumps! Apparently the scene's got to go right through the middle of a race or something. Tell Scott Tyler not to flop his lines this time. Wait, wait. We're putting the festival in the movie. And Scott Tyler's got lines. That's right, kid. Up through here. Head for the ramp. Cue the drivers. Cue Scott. <laughs> no. Dot, dot, dot. There are cars on the track. Oh. Going the wrong way. This is dramatic and unexpected. Scott Tyler, by the way, I'm going to get an agent really soon. <laughs> we uh, let him write his own lines. <laughs> here we go. This car's coming the other way, so watch it. That was close. What now? This is very improvised. You're doing good. Now, out the far side. Keep the speed up. Victor wanted Frankie to drive this. go. That has to be enough for him, right? Right, kid. We're back in it. Get here when you can. Another stuff. I'll be right there. Hey there. So, I just got off the phone with the director, and he wants one more stunt. And not just any stunt. He wants me to jump across the bay, being chased by a cargo plane. And there's dialogue all over it, so no driver swapping. I think it's time we fessed up to Victor. Hang on. If we can't swap drivers, why don't we swap cars? With one waiting in the motorway tunnel. Right. I need props and another hero car. Do we even have another hero car? Yes, we do! The one that was too fast for anyone to drive. I'll get it ready over at the bridge. Scene 117. One take. Action. I'll do the first section and you take over at the tunnel. We can do this, Frankie. Just drive casual. Now, Frankie, it is time. We must close the loop, combine the dimensions, and transform this conflict into art. Got a bad feeling about this. See, see, you are being torn apart from the inside. It's almost as if there is another Alex Cobalt straining, fighting to take control. Understand? Uh, and... Fine! <laughs> Not gonna make it! Go, go, quick. I can't act and drive at the same time. The plane's spinning up. Get to the airfield! Go, go, go! The car's a bit of a handful. This is the high power one Victor asked for, but we never used, so, uh, enjoy! <laughs> Whoa! This thing can move! Uh, we need a line here, I think. Uh, Frankie, would you improvise something for me, please? Uh, I have to return to the future! Si, si, muy bien, you capture the conflict perfectly. No! 
Right turn and follow the plane over the jump. The stunt driver learned to talk, Frankie. You're out of a job. Not bad. I mean, have a few minutes. What Frankie said, just hit that jump, or not the plane. <laughs> I love my life. from watching the feeds. Amazing work. Great driving. And, I mean, reasonable acting, too. Right, kid. We're back in it. Get here when you can. Another stuff. <laughs> I'll be right there. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Right, this is a post credit scene. And according to the call sheet, Victor wants... Uh... Both of you. Both of us? He doesn't know I exist, right? Scene 121A. The two Alexes. Action! Hey, what do you say we make this one real? Oh, you know it! See you at the finish line! Ah, yes, this is what we have been working toward. The within made manifest. The conflict, real. The outcome, unknowable. My greatest work. <laughs> A clever wasik. With any luck, he's definitely, positively, a rap. So, Victor's asked me to join his remake of Rendezvous. Turns out he saw the thing we did in Edinburgh. It's a huge opportunity. And all thanks to you, kid. Actually, you know, I've got this idea. It's about twins who fight crime. In cars? I'm in. Tell me more. Thank <laughs> you. 